You strike me as the reliable sort. But are you sure this is a good idea? Fine, but not for too long. Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. We'll need our strength. Shadow heart seems jumpy. Must not relish the thought of sprouting tentacles. Understandable. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. I'll be awake a while yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through, to process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. You know, if you want to spend time with me, you only have to say so. But suit yourself. I'm sure we'll drift off at some point. A monster forms inside us, yet you waste time with idle chatter. Speak. I expect I am your first. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Yes, best to keep quiet, lest any drivel leak from your lips. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. Go to hell. Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm just poorly making a point. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Devils. Dragons. Mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. <laughs> 